Hi everyone, I hope that you're doing well. So today's video is about Papa Legba and about the 21 Division. So if you haven't already done so, go ahead and click subscribe to this YouTube channel, like the video, share the video, and uh, people like to donate to us because they learn a lot from the channel. If you'd like to do so, Cash App, uh, Cash Symbol Hector Salva, but go ahead and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, at Hungan Hector. So, if you're not aware, in June 2020, I released the book, Wiser Published Me, uh, The 21 Divisions, Mysteries and Magic of Dominican Voodoo. I don't know how good you can see that because of the light, right? And it's available everywhere on Amazon, uh, Barnes and Nobles, Indie Bound, you can get it wherever books are sold. And in this book, I give you a thorough foundation as far as the history of the 21 divisions, as well as like the setup, the type, the way that people are or practitioners of the 21 divisions and a lot of other great information. One of the things that I do is I go in in various chapters going into the major spirits that form the foundation of the 21 divisions. One of those spirits is Papa Legba. And Papa Legba is also one of the most popular spirits that's known about in the U.S. And in many ways, Papa Legba has gotten a bad rap, right? Papa Legba is always is commonly conflated with the devil or Satan or scr old man Scratch in the U.S. He's gotten a bad rap. Sometimes he gets confused with another Lua known as Baron or the or Kao Fu. And Kao Fu, Papa Legba, and Baron are all separate spirits. And it all gets conflated and twisted around each other. Papa Legba is the spirit that opens the gates in our tradition, the spirit that opens the doorways, and the spirit that opens the roads. And he's a very important and major spirit. He's a very common spirit that people go to. Yes, Papa Legba is also a trickster, right? The thing with these spirits is that you these spirits choose you, right? You have to be careful in approaching these spirits, right? Not that long ago, there was something about someone ending up hurt from trying to do work with Papa Legba in the incorrect way. And what I have to say about that is that basically sometimes the scientists mix the wrong ingredients together and creates an explosion and that explodes in their face and harms them. So it happens. It happens. That's why we have training and all of that that goes into our tradition. It's quite cold in here. So I might have to put on my jacket here. So we discussed Papa Legba. And Papa Legba in the 21 divisions, right? is with St. Anthony, walks with St. Anthony. And St. Anthony is the image that we use to represent the foundation of what is Papa Legba. Papa Legba is a trickster, like I said, but he's also incredibly powerful and able to create luck and opportunities and open the road, right? And many times in our traditions, you know, he'll be seen somewhere near the door. Actually, like my own image of St. Anthony is near to the door, right? And he's served by the door because he's the patron of doorways and gateways. So I want to teach you a little bit of something today, right? One of the a Vodou song that we sing is Papa Legba Makula Sudomwe. Ushita nan crash me o vreba e pulwayo. Papa leg by no san naivo. Papa leg by no san naivo. Alegbasea, alegbasea, limashe amu. 
and that's a song for Papa Legba in Creole. So in Creole, Papa Legba is known in all of the various Caribbean spiritual traditions. And in all spiritual traditions, there's almost always some type of gatekeeper or spirit of the roads and gates that performs that function, okay? Um, that song, what I want to teach you today with that song, it just says Papa Legba, the Makut, which is, or Makuto, right? It's a straw bag that he carries, is on my back. You sit in the big road, you open the road for the Loa. Papa Legba, you're innocent and you're naive. Papa Legba, you walk on high. So, Vodou songs and the teachings of Vodou, especially the songs, carry layers of information, not just about the Loa, but about life, right? Vodou songs carry our wisdom forward. If you're liking the video, go ahead and click subscribe now. And go ahead and click like and share the video, right? So I want you to listen carefully to what the song is saying. Like, Papa Legba, the makut is a straw bag. And so Papa Legba is seen like a beggar, right? And a homeless, per a homeless person. He carries everything that he has in that straw bag, right? The straw bag is on my back. You sit in the big road. You open the road for the loi. Papa Legba is innocent. Papa Legba is naive. Papa Legba, you walk on high. Something that people don't understand about Bodu is that it's a mystical tradition. That's why we serve the mysteries known as Mister or Misterios, right? And in that song, there's a great deal of information for you, but you gotta dig in deep, right? And these are part of the secrets that we teach my godchildren, is how to dig deep into the songs, get the wisdom, get the layers of wisdom, and be able to live a life of success. Living a life of success, okay, requires wisdom. And wisdom will lead to the proper actions needed for that success. So many blessings to you today and always. Keep the faith. Hope that that gives you an intro to Papa Legba. Like I said, click subscribe. Share the video. Share the video on social media. Like the video. Uh... If you haven't grabbed this already, right, this is one of the only books, the only book that I know of, on the 21 Divisions, right? So if you haven't grabbed this already, go ahead and grab yourself a copy and really get yourself familiar. You might be one of us, right? And we're going to be doing more and more videos. God bless you. Keep the faith today and always. Until next time.